Hey everyone, Tom Trosley here, and welcome to our new playthrough. We're going to be playing Gunstar Superheroes, but I do have some help. So, I am playing this on hardware emulation, not software. So I am playing this on my Analog Pocket Vada dock from Analog. Now, this console does not have open FPGA cores. So, this is actually being played on a cartridge. And to prove my point, here's the box in question, okay? Yes, I know it's in mirror mode, but this is the actual box itself, all right? Just want to make everyone clear that I am playing on a legit copy. With that said in mind, let's add some theming because this is a Game Boy Advance game. Oh, yeah, that looks good. And we're going to be playing Red Story Mode. There we go. Now we have some red. But let's get into the game. Shall we? We shall. Licensed by Nintendo, by the way. And pre presented by Sega. A little out of my ears. Alright. We have to stop him. Your journey ends here. Hey, it's Great Value and Bison. Where is he? That light. It's too late. No, the earth under one person's power. In the past. Two heroes fought against the terrible destructor known as Gold and Silver. These two noble heroes were known as the Gunstar Heroes. But nothing else was known about them. That's kind of true. They beat the Destructor in an epic battle on the moon. The Destructor exploded, resulting in a Genesis. Hey, Sega Genesis! A Genesis of four new moons that orbited the Earth. As time passed, development occurred on the four moons. It was a prosperous era. Then a fifth moon appeared. Fifth moon? This moon served as an ominous omen. Uh-oh. A huge military satellite created by the Empire. They're back? It plans to resurrect the Destructor. The God of Ruin! Its obsession since the find of a relic, the Megalith. But the Empire's grab for power hasn't gone unnoticed. You hear that, General Grey? The Third Eye Force on Earth has created a unit to stop it. This elite unit has been given the code name... Gunstar Superheroes. Alright. Welcome everyone to Gunstar Superheroes. So, just to give you some background. There are two story modes that are going to be going on in this game. There's Red Story and there's Blue Story. And to get the full story, we have to play on Hard Mode. Now, on Twitch, I'm playing Blue. Which you can see on my YouTube channel with the VOD. That I struggle against green and the seventh force so i have to keep that in mind when i play red but we will be continuing red story here on youtube so if you like the more streamlined recorded gameplay this will be it where you could break it up into chunks or like i said you can watch it on twitch be going through blue story which is all in hopefully one not one take but several takes at least to get the whole story across we are playing on hard mode I'm going to reset the data because technically I had this game recorded, but my audio hiccuped. So, we're going to go through it again. Alright? Alright. Earth. At the Skyport. N N Nem Nemaco Station? I don't know how to say it. This is yellow. Respond, HQ. Please respond. It's no use. How could someone overwhelm our HQ? We have over 300. Go investigate, Gunstars. Use extreme caution. Roger. So, unlike the original Gunstar Heroes, this one has a different weapon system. So in the original game, you had four weapon types, and you could make combinations out of them, plus two weapon styles. You could do run and gun, or you could stand and gun, both players could fight, but 
again, you had fixed and free fire rate, essentially. Fixed and free fire rate are in this game, but it's down to a button combo, or button at least. If you hold R, you go into a fixed state, where if you don't hold R, you're in a free state. The weapon types were laser, chase, flamethrower, and machine gun. Red, in this case, has machine gun, uh, fireball, which is machine gun and flamethrower, if you're talking about old game logic, and laser chase, which is the last one. And they have supercharged weapons. So, when that bar fills up, you double tap R and it'll shoot off a big, big, powerful attack. Now, I would have played this on my Genesis controller, or Genesis style controller, but the R button doesn't seem to work for some weird reason. So, I'm playing this on a Switch controller. And just like with Blue, Blue has laser, same thing, has the fireball uh, machine gun mechanic, and then laser chase. So really, the only difference between the two characters is machine gun and laser as their first weapon choice. With that all said, oh, and I can't throw people too, like the old game. But with that all said, let's get into it. And to switch it, you could uh, press left trigger or left bump, uh, left the left button. All right, so let's go. And instead of phantoms, we got this big boy now. He's the mini boss now. Which is weird. Oh, I'm gonna overwhelm. Well, get out of here. Nope, I need that hard power. Get out of here, dudes. Let's go through these dudes like butter. I mean, there are some differences too. Red and blue and Gunstar Heroes were both male. In this version, red is actually female, as far as I know from the US copy. And blue is male. So. There we go. There's another big boy. Come on. I want to have. Try to have maximum health for the incoming boss that we're going to have to fight. Ah, missed the heart. Get out of here, dudes. Alright, got rid of those guys. And physical attacks are still the dominant force, technically. Or can be. If it cooperates, essentially. Alright, got rid of that guy. Now, there is a secret up here. I do want to get that. Maximize, uh... Getting some supercharges for my other weapons. All right, let's keep going. General Gray, what are you doing here? I am General Gray. He has a voice. You're too late. I've already got what I've wanted. Where are the guards? What do you have done to them? Ah, I raced them. I used the power of the Megalith. He can race people? Megalith? What the heck is a megalith? Yellow here. I require help. I'm under attack. What? There was no warning. Where did that where did it come from? <clears throat> you cannot comprehend the power of the megalith. Soon everyone will bow to the power of the Empire. Abyss no Mundundus. I have no idea how the hell to say it correctly. It's Latin, as far as I can tell. I could be wrong, but I believe it's Latin. Shoot, we got to get back to yellow. Get through these dudes, there we go. Ow. Ow. There we go. Got some hearts at least. Should be enough health for 
the boss. This is an insane boss, by the way. Spoilers. Oh, yeah, the city blows up, by the way, with a creepy, like, skull in the background. All right, time to use my super. I gotta let him get let go of yellow. There we go. Watch out. Ow. Gotta watch out for his meaty hands. He's almost dead. There we go. Yeah, that's right. I, I'm an acrobat. Come on. Bring it. I'm a fighter. Although, I wish I could toss people. Like I said, that... That... That ominous... Blowing up cloud... Fire... Like, that's just a creepy image. I'm just saying. Alright, we completed Earth. Let's put in my name, shall we? There we go. And we're saving. Third Eye seems to have vanished, but it's so hard to believe. Excluding us, Third Eye no longer exists in any form. No longer exists? What does this mean? I don't know, but the stolen data may provide a clue. It says each of the four moons has a treasure gem. The legendary gems said to call forth the God of Ruin? Hmm. But weren't they destroyed along with the Destructor? Yes, but recall how the four moons appeared after that battle. I think these gems have been regenerating in the moons. And now they have awakened. If so, then they must have the same purpose. To awaken the God of Ruin, Gold and Silver, again. So history repeats itself once more. Now we know what the Empire wants. We were aptly named. Somehow I have a feeling of deja vu. Will we meet Pink, Orange, and Smash? What irony. Well, we better get to the Four Moons before the Empire. Roger. And with that said, thank you, Tom Trosty of the past. If you want to see more of that video, head over to my YouTube channel and you watch me play through Gunstar Superheroes Red Story. But today, we are going to be tackling Blue Story. Now, last stream, I was playing Gunstar Hero Blue, and I was having a really hard time against Reen and Seven Force. Thankfully enough, after rewatching my stream from last Saturday, Lost me playing for red today. I think I have a way to be green, and then I have to fear for what comes next. So, with that said, let me switch my monitor over and we get right into the game. Otherwise, oh, I hope everyone's doing well. I'm having fun. Ready to kick some ass in Gunstar Heroes Superheroes. So, alright. Let's get into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know this part. All right. Let's see if we can kick some ass. I am green. You are green. Yeah, not a great start, but I have the idea. Don't worry, guys. Okay, that did not work as intended. Alright, we'll try that again. No big deal. Just wasn't expecting that. Alright, we're going to have some shortcomings. But we'll get through it. Hopefully I'm coming through clearly. And everything is going well. All right, let's try this again, shall we? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All 
All right, Bo. Whatever. All right, bow and arrow guy's done. There we go. Ow. So it doesn't work as well as machine guns supercharged attack. So something I keep in mind. But I learned while playing Red today, you can hold R for those other two super type of weapons. And it'll just unload a barrage. So I just gotta get the right setting for it. Next screen. Piece of shit. Gotta pay attention. Damn it, I wasn't paying attention to the movement. Alright. Okay, just gotta get the right combination of using laser and laser chases super attacks. That's really what it comes down to. Alright, let's try this again. Yeah. All right, so I have to leave with super charge attack from laser chase because always oh, attack pattern is different when it comes to the mech. Okay. I don't need to start the level over because I did complete this with red with the exact same health I had. I know it's hard to believe, but it's true. that one always hits me. There's always one that hits me. Okay. I almost got through the dragon. I th thought it was a snake, but it's more like a dragon. So. Alright. Let's get this done. Let's get that bread. Come on. Green, you need to give up. I need no blue story. You're a piece of shit. We established that. Okay. So we got through the crab, and now we're doing the Beyblade slash Hedgehog.
Why does it do that? Where it stays on one side and just spin the wind. It's never consistent too, it's always like RNG. Alright. What's next, Green? It's fine. This should be easy. Enough. Okay. We're on the bird. Four bosses down. Three to go. 49 health. the side attacks. It helps me out. I know this is the long form, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Keep my health up as best I can while attacking him. I, I ate that for no reason. I should have just... When I was talking, I didn't concentrate. Three left. Alright, so it's Jaguar now. Come on, Jaguar, go down. take a few hits from the dragon. Got it! Didn't take anything. Finally! Yes! It's just bow. There we go. Yeah! Yeah, that's right, Green! I got your fucking number, finally! Yeah! Even I got two more health points on blue than I did on red. Red I got through with 17. Blue I got through with 19. Hell yeah! Finally! Suck my dick, Green. Fuck. I shall leave now, but please give this to Yellow. Another data disc? What's in this one? Shadow Light Journal 3. Today, I witnessed a phenomenal event. We saw a life form emerge from the thin air. All this from following the Megalith's instructions. It disappeared, but gave us a glimpse of another being. The Megalith says it's just rewriting our reality. What does that imply? 
Does this mean we're like a piece of code in a program? If so, wouldn't the possibilities be endless? It makes our conflict for resources seem so small. With the Megalith, we can enter a new era of humanity. But I'll need more funding to do further studies. I need to find someone who also believes in this. Ray, a wealthy Earthman, has agreed to listen to me. Gray? It's General Gray, guys. Wealthy is understatement. All right, so now we have orange. Oh, feels so good and relieved that I got through green. Okay, now, here's the new problem. Orange is a military base. The first half doesn't play like it does in Gunstar Heroes. So we have a helicopter that can, sh that can rapid fire and shoot missiles. So two different types of attacks that I can do simultaneously. Problem is, is we're playing hard mode we only have a hundred points in life, so yeah. I tried looking up the best strategy I possibly can for the stage because I'm also doing this on red. Right now, blue and red are, are are at the same level right now. So once I get the strategy down for one of them, I'll apply the strategy to the other. So let's see if I can figure it out on stream. I have an idea where I can, what I can do, but I gotta get it just right. No! The Empire's already acquired the treasure gem. It's on a warship that's about to leave. We will run into anti-aircraft fire, so watch out! Anti-aircraft fire? Why is the moon helping the Empire? Since Third Eye's disappearance, the Empire's gained support. Why? The Empire's acts of violence hurt everyone. But some believe conflict is the only answer. Especially those who live on the moon. Man, all this talk is driving me nuts. Interesting. Yeah, so these are the two attack patterns. We have machine gun, and then the missiles. So, we're going to apply the strategy to go right. And I also rapid fire missiles, by the way. I can't really rapid fire the guns. The guns are just for what they are. So I have to hold that, and then... Rapid fire tap A. But anyways, we're gonna go this way. Oh, and I also can change direction, by the way. So that's something. Yeah, I got distracted. It's not a big deal. I did it for movement. I'm not gonna win this one, but it'll at least get me to the boss. Because I have a rough idea. Alright, let's see if I can actually do it. Nope. Need more health, guys. Need more health. <laughs> Oof. Alright, let's try again. We'll come back to black. Let's just get for the Empire. On orange. Alright. Get by this section. Whatever. Got by him. That's what matters. Best health I've had so far. Alright. Alright, I need a strategy. Come on! Damn it! I saw that someone on YouTube was able to take out all the... the subs and then they, they tacked a side. Right. 
Well, that's the best health I had, so 88, where on Red's play, we only had, like, health of 64. So that works. Probably mulligan this and start it over. Because there's no way in hell I'm getting through this with two two points of HP. Yeah. That's what I thought. Maybe attack the right side and then go to the middle. That might be an option. Okay. my way. Alright, same health points, but we're gonna try from the... What the fuck? I guess because I raced through it? I didn't let this warship get ahead. Well, that sucks. Alright, cool. Lesson learned. Wait for the warship to get by. Ugh. All right. I didn't want to do black yet. Sorry, guys. I don't want to do black just yet. I want to get through orange first. Orange is going to be more tedious than black, I believe. That ship follows you no matter what you do. So it's almost like you want to start in the middle. Ah, I started the wrong one. Damn it. What I get for doing green first instead of in order. Ugh. There we go. Alright. I'm with 52. I mean, I'm, we're like 88, but I'm, I'll deal with 52. Damn. Come on. What does it take to be a warship? I don't like the RNG, Sam I am. I don't like it at all. Myself. Come on. Nope. Ugh. 
Like, I wouldn't mind the, the boss if, like, you could disable the big laser guns that are on each side somehow. But you can't, so it's kind of like a lose-all battle. Better. It's not 88, but I'll take 82. Alright, good. Good, good, good. Come on! Why am I gridlocked? What the f... Why does it gridlock me if I'm trying to shoot and move? That makes no sense. Gunstar Heroes, why can't you make sense for me? Why is sense like cheesecake? How am I doing wrong? Hmm. I don't know. I just don't really know. Getting consistent now. Damn, eighty nine. This is going to get tedious real quick. I gotta dodge that ship somehow. If I can veer off just enough to the right to avoid the shot, but I'll also not get hit by the stupid anti aircraft to push me back into it. There might be just a way. Best 
strategy I had if I had a little more health. Oh, I could have got it. Could have definitely got it. All right. There is a chance. I just got to do it just right. Wrong stage. God damn it. Okay. I got it. I got it, guys. I got it. Let's, just, let's try again. All right. Yes! Oh, best health I have so far. Hell yeah. Only got hit once. I'll take it. Alright. Come on! Damn it! That was the best strategy I had and I still screwed it up somehow. I you gotta stay in between. Hmm. Come on, come on, come on. Get me through, get me through. Not 94 or 88 or 82, but I work with 70 somehow. All right. Yeah, it's a problem. Since I get gridlocked, that guy can just unload his laser. God damn it! I'm so close in that one one shot. more health, I would have been fine in one instance. I don't know what stucks me. Well, I don't know what gets me stuck there. I mean, I guess I could try from the front. Go down the middle again. Yeah, I could try to be more cautious. Take the cautious route and see what happens.
doing wrong too much anti-aircraft that's what it is I still find it funny the walls don't hurt you you can bash the walls all you want but nothing happens Hold up. What? I'm rocking with full 100%? No, that's gotta be weird. I'll take it. Just be a perfect opportunity. Let's see what I can try to do. Actually, hold on. Can I actually do one of my save states for once? Let's see, memories. Save states. Save states. And log up. Okay. There we go. Alright. Because I'm getting sick and tired of trying this over and over again. If we can just do safe states, let's go with that. And my pocket has built in safe states. I don't want to hear it. How we're doing it. I'm sick of restarting. This is the best outcome we got. Why can't I kill this guy? The hell? Come on. It's like if I don't destroy him early on, I can't kill him. That's weird. Okay, that's the worst one. Okay, let's try again. Nope. Like I said, this gives me chances to try and try again. Yeah, like, as soon as I get into a position, I get gridlocked. I don't... The anti-aircraft shit is bullshit. I can't move. Like, once I'm in a position, I can't move. Come on, there's gotta be an opening somewhere.
The safe state's definitely helping. Yeah, because now I'm forced to just fight. I got it. I might get it, guys. Hell yeah! Finally! Ugh. Just took me a safe state to get 100 through. I may have to do this with reds. But we can now resume blue story. Holy shit. Making a lot more progress than last stream, I'll tell you that. I start all the way over. I hope not. Because if I do it, I'm just going to reload a save state, but that would be dick. Okay, good. That's fine with me. Big ship, too. Can I grab There we go. That's one way to get rid of him. Now we're making some progress, guys. About time. Mm, nearly back to full health, too. Good. Alright, it's time to fight Orange. A lot of fist power. Oh shit! Didn't know that was possible. Oh. 
Damn. Get off me. Okay. Interesting. All right. Orange is a little different than he played originally. Interesting game. All right. Let's do this again. Well, it's just going backwards. Ow. Oh, why not? Not my best idea, but that's all right. I just accumulate my laser, and we'll just take out the guys for hearts. Winning strategy. Hey, no drop frames tonight, which is good. Come on. Almost there. Or I might be full right there, actually. <laughs> Not the right uh, dude to fight, but it's okay. I just unloaded wrong, that's all. Bingo. Huh. I guess that barrel guy just disappears after a period of time. Interesting. Alright. 172. This is an even fight. do a frontal assault you have to hit him from behind it looks like okay noted I mean I guess I should start doing save states right before him so we don't have to constantly keep watching this intro but let me spin to win 
spin. On the ship, there we go. There we go. We have max health at this rate. Actually, a little higher than what I started with. Which I'm cool with. I needed to get to orange. Alright. There we go. Just in case. So I can just reload it. Save us some time, you know? That's right, get off your goddamn ship. to knock him off. Interesting. Huh. Got him. Knocked him off. Damn. Oh, okay. That works too. Somehow. How the hell did I beat him? I don't even know what I did. Must have shot him or something. All right. Made some wicked progress on Blue Story. Woohoo! I feel good. I feel good, guys. I feel real good. Now for the story. You better watch your back from now on, gun stars. Man, another journal to read? Shadow Light Journal number two. Notes from Dr. Shadow Light. Earth Scientist Division. The Megalith could communicate telepathically. But what surprised me more was its story. Apparently, humans still haven't evolved much. But if we can develop our intellect, we can be reborn. Then we can transcend time and space like the Four Gems. Seriously, I think the Megalith is just a corrupt version of what Gold and Silver was from the original game. Because think about it. The genesis of gold and silver exploding caused the four moons plus the megalith. The megalith is just an intelligent gem at this point, And this intelligent gem has traveled through dimensions like the other four gems. But the way it's approaching it is very sinister-like, if I had to guess. That's, what make, that's what's making me think of it from these journals, plus some of the elements of the gems talking to Red. That's why I need to watch YouTube's, uh, my YouTube channel of me playing for Red, because the sentient gems tell you about the different Earths and how they go about it, uh, with each Earth having some sort of horrifying thing, but they're more threatened by outer space, which, again, I think it all ties back into gold and silver. But anyways, these four gems came from different Earths. Oh, there you go. It, it said it for me anyways. And they wish to help lead us infantile beings. But they had trouble with our salvage, savage nature. But the Megalith, the fifth gem, can aid us. 
No one, be no one will believe me, so I must pursue this alone. I've quit my job and set up a lab on one of the moons. With my assistant Black, I will study the Megalith. Fun fact, Dr. Shadow Light is the scientist that was helping us in the original Gunstar Heroes game. Obviously, difference, you know, because it's a remake and all that, all the characters are different with the same names. So, it's essentially the same person, just a different story. Or a revision story. Alright, so the only thing we have left now is Black. Black Jack. The casino here is popular, run by a ma man named Black. He was once a scientist, now he works for the Empire. I think he expects us at his fortress. It was likely funded by the money from his casino. Given his nature, be careful of his weird traps. Hmm. I'm not a betting man. I'll be careful. Alright. Let's just stick the laser. Oh, hey, there's Earth, I think. Come on, guys. Just fuel... Just fuel up my, uh... Supercharge attack. I appreciate it. Almost there. Alright, good. Ah, get out of here. ships. Come on. Ow. Tell me it's one of those games where because you can't see it, you can't kill it. Oh, come on. I got through it, at least. Alright. Now I play Black's Weird Maze. Although I don't think I'm going to get as lucky as the original game's maze. Not this one. Oh god, not the mini soldier. Fuck. Uh 
I was expecting for this strategy to work, but okay, I'll, I'll take it. I gotta keep this in mind when I do Red Story, what the hell? I should probably clip that. That was that was something I was not expecting to abuse, let alone knew how to abuse. Cool. Now what am I fighting? Oh, okay. Wow, 40 seconds. That's crazy. Ow. What the hell? Alright, time up. That sucked. Gotta watch over its laser attack. Balloons or bubbles aren't helping. Okay, cool. I don't like this maze, Sam. I am. Although I should probably update the title. Another story. All right, let's resume. That's a creepy image, but okay. Uh, I don't know if I can beat the soldier again. Not like the way I just did. Maybe I can. I think I found a glitch with the soldier, sort of. Keep this mind for red. Okay. Let's keep going. Where am I? Oh, it's the blob! And it could actually hurt me. What the hell? That I wasn't expecting. Hmm. Okay. Here we go. Watchtower. How is that? Ah. Huh. This is a weird one. What am I dealing with? What the Okay, I died. Well, these are all different than what the first game had. Neat. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, let's see. We'll take the one, I guess. snake thing. I have no idea what this is. Kind of reminds you of Spaceware from Stellar Interface. Although this pre predates Stellar Interface. Stupid. God damn. Even with my super. Come on. What the hell? I wonder if I can get for this maze by the time we hit our two hour mark. Let's see what happens. Alright. Dodge all that madness finally. I didn't want to go back. What the hell? Now I gotta deal with the mini soldier. Jackass. Just use the mechanic. Tom Trotsky, just use the mechanic. I always hated the little soldier in both games, no matter what. And this game's worse because he's got other ones with him. Let's try that again, shall we? Not what I want to do, but okay. Ooh, but I can pick up another heart. I'll take the failure. It means I get more health back. point in hurting myself further.
sure. Just leave me to death, why don't you? Ugh. All right, come on. We gotta make some progress in this. Let's go. Let's roll the dice and make some headway. There we go. me around. What the hell? Jerk move. No, because now I gotta fight the mini soldier. Ugh! This game! <laughs> Come on! Come on! That was so cheap. It's amazing because that that particular fight, not the soldier dude. But the one with the three dots, that was like the final thing in the old game. So it's amazing that it's literally the third thing you fight in this in this version. Here we go, gotta fight the soldier again. Seem to not be able to fuse him right now. Yep. Alright. Let's not fight the mini soldier, please. Please and thank you. That's all I ask. There we go. Gotta time my rolls. Take it. As long as you get a good roll. Okay, what am I dealing with now? Oh, this thing.
Okay, that's not cool. I remember the laser thing just having lasers, not lasers and uh, QPUEs at the same time. Awesome. How much more did they change in this version? Not that I complain, new version's always better, but damn at the same time. Gotta time that. So my next roll, I gotta try to get a three, essentially. Get a four. Let's get Smash Guy, that M. Bison guy, if I can. Got him. He might be easy to beat. Hello. Wasn't expecting a big boy. I'll take some health. Alright, Smash. Go. You're lucky I can't throw bombs at you. Otherwise, I would have. Well, I'm back where I started, damn. Let's see if I can get the item slot. Got it.
do I do for this? Okay, that's not helpful. What? Okay, this is a weird one. So I have to time that wall? That's gonna be wild. I got it. I don't know how, but I got it. All right, I need to get a two for the boss. Got it. All right, let's be up some black. Hello, black. Yeah, I plan to. Okay. Okay. Oh, I should have did a save state. Damn it. Regret. Dear humanity, I regret doing a save state in front of the boss. Damn. Let's go for the maze again. Hmm. Oh, I thought I had a one. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Let's not try to roll a one. Let's try to roll a five. Got it. I think this is the one version I don't want to fully complete. Like, I was I was ecstatic and excited that I was able to beat the maze in the original game. But this version, uh, I don't really want to. And I just don't think the minigames are just as fun. They're not as fun. So, what's the point? So now I gotta roll a three. Got it. Mm. Well, they haven't made the item stages more interactive. I'll give it that. There. Okay. Now I gotta roll another three. Got it. Get rid of this guy. Okay. 
There we go. Save myself some health right there. Alright, now let's see if we can roll one. Got it. One and then a two. And then skip to my loot. That's not what I wanted to do. Because now I'm in a harder position. God damn it, I didn't want to do that. Shit's annoying. It's like or or a boris, that's what it is. Come on, break up! God damn you. Guess I got through it. I'll take the five for now. up. It is speeding up. Holy shit. Oh, come on. <sighs> mm. Yep, I regret not doing a safe stay at black.
Alright. Let's get some help. Smash. Got you. All right. That one I took no help, no hits. Perfect. All right. Now let's see if we can roll one. Got it. Careful that. Okay, cool. Now I gotta try to time this again. Got the first time, but barely. Got it. Oh. All right, I gotta roll two now. Got it. Oh, now I can probably hear black. Spider is very weird looking. Yeah, that barely did anything. Okay. Oh, he switched. Interesting. Yeah, let's load. I'm gonna try. He's got misses for his first stage, it seems like. So he loses 100 health, he just switches it up, it seems like. Interesting. I'm gonna try.
Yeah, he does switch after 100 damage. Interesting. Huh. Alright. I'm learning a lot about black. I'm a tribe bound black. how to fight this boss. That's what matters. I'm gonna try. Switched it. I think. Oh, he didn't. I don't like his missile attacks. That's not what I wanted to happen, but okay, that was weird. Yeah, I'm gonna keep betting on black. That was a weird uh, mix-up. Keep trying to bet on black, actually. Let's go. Switch at least. So what do I do? Tag him like that? Interesting. Sorry for the rotating camera glitching YouTube. But this is the only way to be black, I'm gonna have to go about it this way.
There we go. That was wild. Oh, hey, it's just like the first game. Oh, interesting. Come on. That's what you get. This is what you get, Black. Just like in the first game. I'm going to shoot you till the end of time. God, I hated this maze more than your first maze. Never do this bullshit ever again. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, God. We completed it, guys. Let's see what the story says now. Another journal? How many are there? Shadow Lake Journal number four. I've learned many things, and I'm closer to my goal. The key, gold and silver. It's as I said, Megalith has to be tied to this when it exploded in the first game. It can be used as a portal to other dimensions. See, I'm, I'm putting pieces together. We would be able to explore and find new resources. We would no longer need to fight for limited resources. But Gray's interest seems to be different than mine. He seems to want power. He's inflamed the moon colonists. They believe we'll fight the Earth government. What Gray has done is inexcusable. I mean, the man is already corrupt to begin with. Even though it may destroy my work, I must stop him. Now things are starting to line up with, like, the first game. We must bring humankind to a new era of peace. Hence my slogan. Oh, that's why it's been said. The ab abysno ab ab absolono mundanus. I'm not even sure I'm saying it right still. I was wondering why Grace said that. I given my journals to my son and daughter. Okay, so green and yellow are the kids to Doctor Light or Doctor Shadow Light, which again kind of fits with what happened with the first game. I pray they will not need to use the information in them. But I no longer trust Gray, and I fear for my life. My son, daughter, may they live in peaceful times. Dot, dot, dot. Oh boy. Poor Yellow. Alright. So, I'm almost at my two hour mark for my stream tonight. I'm keeping it a little bit shorter than last time. So, we'll come back to this. Uh, let's see. Okay, good. Alright. We're going to quit cartridge for now. Because game is saved. Okay, so that was Gunstar Superheroes. It's unfortunate I had to use save states for this, but there's just no way around it. Because if I didn't have save states, I'd be in that console loop like I was in our last stream. Where I I literally, I'm working out a super cut of, of my torture that I had from last stream. I died 98 times to green. That's how determined I was trying to be green. I died 98 times. So, save states definitely helped me out a lot more. Plus my thumbs are, are feeling it now. But without save states, man, I don't know if I would have gotten past orange yet because it's re it's it's definitely tricky trying to get a hundred life points just to get to the boss. It's just in hard mode, and then on top of that, you know, having to fight through the warship to get to orange. Orange plays a lot different than the first game. You have to knock him off the ship where. The first game, you didn't have to do anything. You just had to physically beat the shit out of him. So, definitely a lot of differences. And Black's Maze is a pain in the ass in this one. 
Like, they reorganized everything that I knew from the first game, and it's more tedious. Honestly. I don't know if I want to do a more tedious maze ever again. Like, I... Look, I'm proud that I got through that maze in the first game. Like, completely cleared all all the traps. But I am not going to try to clear all the traps in this one. It just takes way too long. I mean, maybe I could in easy mode, but I'm not doing it in hard mode. Hell no. And the boss for Black was unique. Because in the other one, he was kind of like a... Like a suction cup kind of robot. Where this one, he's just a little literal six-legged spider, which is even weirder. Um, but coming out of each end of the butt or head, I have no idea. And then, you know, crunched up into a ball because we were kicking its ass. And then you have to run around because it's doing a constant sonic spin. So, or sonic spin ball. But, yeah. So, if it's, like I said, this is a remake slash sequel slash reboot of a game i have a feeling the next stage is going to play like saving yellow where you have to give up the gems to general gray because he's holding yellow hostage in some form i don't know but that's just my assumption based on the first game but hopefully in the next stream we'll finish up blue story and see what that entails and then like i said on youtube which by the way the next video for Red Story is actually coming out in 12 minutes. So, after this stream, if you want to see more Gunstar Heroes content, just go to my YouTube channel, where the next video is already coming out. Oh yeah, I planned this out big time. So, but I'm having a lot of fun with this game. Don't get me wrong, I am frustrated at times, but it is a fun, challenging game. Especially hard mode, because I never really did expert mode in the original game. Just because I know how hard that game is. Like, the fans would throw a lot more bombs. They would do a lot more sliding. Everyone's just got more health, essentially. So, there's a lot more health buffs to all the bosses. Um, but, maybe down the road I'll try that out at some point. Just just give it a shot. Don't know if I'll beat it or go through it, but give it a shot. And we'll play it on the Mega SG instead of... Uh, Nintendo Switch Online or some emulator. We'll just try to do physical uh, hardware emulation instead of software emulation. But, yep, that's tonight's stream, guys. Don't worry. I know we haven't played Glover 64 in a bit. We'll get back to that soon enough. As well as Stellar Interface casually. And on top of that, there's still other games I wanted to play. I got Inscription. Mother Russia Bleeds. Two games I want to play. Seven Days to Die. I may do a stream on Seven Days to Die. That'd be fun. Show you my progress on the other game that I'm not doing for YouTube. So, lots of fun stuff ahead. Um, it's just that if I do Seven Days to Die, it's got to be like a content warning kind of thing. So, it is what it is. But, I'm having fun. Don't worry. This was a good game. Good fun times. Who's ever been viewing my stream this whole time, I appreciate you viewing, lurking. It could just be me, I have no idea. But if you are there, thanks for joining, thanks for watching. I appreciate you. I'm glad this stream has had zero uh, frames dropped, which is nice. So this will be a nice stream to show on YouTube. 60 FPS and all that. So, um, But hey, if you're new here, maybe consider following. Or subscribe to my YouTube channel. Either or. At some point I'll be able to have subscriptions for Twitch unlocked. Just gotta get 20 more followers. Uh, that's my goal for the year. Just get to 50 followers. So. And just do more online streaming. I mean. I'm streaming pretty much every Saturday. Unless something comes up. Which. Two Saturdays from now. I will be busy. So I won't be able to stream two Saturdays from now. So next Saturday. I'll stream, and then the following Saturday I won't be available. Just to give you guys a heads up. So, um, other than that, we'll do a little bit of a, let me just switch over to just chatting. Because I don't want to just, uh,
There we go. Figured break up the chapters. Yeah, we'll do a quick chit chat. Um, just get you guys caught up to speed with what's been going on with me. So we're working through Gunstar Superheroes, both story modes of red and blue. Blue here, red on YouTube. Following from that, we'll do Inscription. We'll do Mother Russia Bleeds. We'll do Seven Days to Die and finish up Glover 64. So I have four games planned at least. Um, but otherwise, life's not been bad. Can't complain. Been enjoying my new car. Have had any trouble with that. I've done some Instacart orders here and there. Although I'm going to be resting this week because last week, or this week technically, I did four days at both jobs. So I'm pretty beat from that. But I figured today I, was, I wasn't doing much, so I was able to relax. I got to do what I wanted to do. Tomorrow I'm going to do some cleaning around my place. Do my laundry and prepare myself for, yeah, prepare myself for the next week. Because next week I have two days at one job, two days at the other job, but more than likely I'll get called in for UPS. It's usually guaranteed. People keep calling out. Something happens. So, hours have been really good there, even with the call-ins. Um, but only doing two days at Hannaford is going to be a blessing because... Going from UPS, give myself four hours to relax, and then do a five, uh, four or five hour shift at Hannaford. It's been kind of tough. Because I'm just I'm physically tired after doing UPS, and I just want to take a nap at that point. But we'll see. I mean, who knows what this week's going to play out. So, only other thing I haven't been doing is TikTok and my YouTube shorts. That stuff I've been falling way behind, and I need to start doing vertical content. I have been recording vertically for my streams and my YouTube playthroughs, but I have yet to do any quick one-minute edits on those and, and or, you know, highlight sizable videos for TikTok. Um, not that I want to neglect it. I just haven't had any motivation to do things at TikTok or content-wise. I don't know if it's because of the TikTok ban or... The looming ban, should I say. Um, and with YouTube Shorts being only a minute constantly, it's just like, that's just, I get it, it's a sampling, but it's a small sampling for sure. So, um, hopefully when I go back to playing other games, I can start using my wireless headphones that I got. Because these are getting pretty beat up and shot, not gonna lie. Um, but these are pretty comfortable, and they're both Sony. Like the headphones I'm wearing right now from Sony. And then these are Sony headphones as well. But the whole point of wearing these is that I'm not I'm not tied down with the wire. So it's not interfering with the uh, using mouse and keyboard. So hoping to switch off from that at some point. But I'm going to take that out. I'm going to turn off the analog pocket dock. It's been fun streaming with the pocket. I'm not going to lie, that's been fun. The only downside is using the Switch controller instead of my Genesis style controller. So, as I said before on stream and on YouTube, this is the 8 bit dude uh, M30 2.4 gigahertz. I should have got a Bluetooth version. But for whatever reason, play all the buttons except the R button. I don't know why. The D-pad's a lot bigger on this. So, I would love to use this versus the shitty small D-pad on a Switch controller. Okay? That's just, you know, minor technical complaining, but that's besides the point. So, yeah. And that's pretty much what's been going on with me. Wednesday, I'm getting a haircut. Get rid of this semi-long hair. I know it's not super long to a lot of people, but it's getting warm. It's going to feel like summer here next week. I want to get a haircut, especially if I work at UPS. I sweat moving a lot of stuff, so I don't want to have a head full of hair. Pretty much, you know, sweating me out, basically. 
And then Monday, May 6th, I got to go to the dentist because I need to take care of a cavity that needs to be root canaled and crowned. Yay. That's fun. So, been having partial pain from that. But taking antibiotics and then taking ibuprofen, I've been working out so far. Um, but that's just a temporary fix until I get to May 6th. I could have done it the same day that came in for an appointment, but I just want to make the appointment. I didn't want to do the day, the, the day of because I knew how much work I had ahead of me from both jobs. So, there wasn't a point, but... So Just Chatting has 308,000 viewers, and it's followed by 29.4 million people. That's crazy. Twitch's categories are just wild. Like, some of them are just blowing up, and then others are just like, oh, they're just there. So, um, other than the dental work I got going on, I am feeling a lot better. My ear is better. I'm not suffering from a head cold, finally. So... I'm on the up and up finally with all that. I gotta get new. I gotta get stuff for my car. I need to get new uh, all season floor mat. I need to get new rims because I lost a hubcap actually this week. Weirdly, they're cheap hubcaps. I gotta get OEM ones. Uh, I gotta get a trunk net so I can hold my shopping bags in my trunk. And yeah, it should be about. Oh, and I get the wireless phone charger too. So I can charge my phone wirelessly when I'm on the go. Get that for the car. Thinking about getting another monitor. The exact same monitor I have right now in front of me. I want to get to my left. So the coloring matches. Um, plus, if I got the exact same one, the the current the new one I got, I can extend up and down. So I kind of want that for the left side as well. I don't want to run a two monitor setup. I don't want to do three monitors. That's just too much. Um, hopefully, I could sell the monitor to my left to someone. I have no idea who. I got to figure that out. Uh, things I'm thinking about getting. Uh, I still want to get a soldering kit so I can do the Pico Boot mod for my GameCube. Get a memory card for my GameCube so I can start doing Animal Crossing playthroughs. Um. Now I don't want to get a soldering kit for that, but I also want to get a soldering kit for the Game Boy Advance. So I could do uh, IS, uh, IPS mod for the original Game Boy Advance. Just just fun stuff. Stuff that I want to tinker with if I haven't yet to do. Last thing I tinkered slash cleaned was my white game controller. So I wouldn't mind doing some fun stuff like that again. But Just filling in time. I'll be ending the stream here in about five minutes or so. So... Figure just give you guys some personal updates. What's been going on with me overall. Um, hopefully everyone's doing well out there. Mm. People I recommend you should follow and watch on here. Uh, Vexy, if she comes back to Twitch. She's a really cool streamer. And Mattoy SR, He streams quite a bit. So I highly recommend following those two. And... Watch them when they stream. Um, there's a few others out there like uh, Magic. Uh, I forget the number combination, but cool to watch. Crazen's cool to watch as well. Follow him as well. Uh, those are, yeah, those four I would recommend watching for sure. Um,. I mean, there's bigger ones I follow, like Wolf Den, Bob Wolf, Point Crow, uh, Uber Nick for Halo. So, yeah, those kind of things. Oh, yeah, Halo games. Been wanting to mod and do Curse Halo down the road, too. So, there's stuff I, I still have planned for this year to do. Hopefully, I'll get to it. But, any suggestions, just let me know. Let me know here. Let me know on YouTube. Speaking of YouTube, I've been trying the YouTube posts feature. So let me see if I can switch to that. Uh, let's see. There we go. Let's head to my YouTube page, shall we? 
uh, community. Yeah, so the other day I did some uh, posts for the first time. Uh, because of the hiccup I had for the uh, video I was working on, uh, the the first episode for Gunstar Superheroes, I made a post about that, and then I made a follow-up post saying I fixed the issue and it's a day late. But, made a pretty cool thumbnail out of it. So, and the other video is live, by the way. So, this is just went live. Recommend watching that when you get done watching this stream. But, yeah, first time I actually use this. I may make another community post here soon enough just to advertise the video that's out. But. Alright, Twitch, I think we're going to call it for tonight. I think I'm going to head out. And, and this was a fun stream. I had a lot of fun. So. Definitely follow those that I mentioned. Definitely follow me or subscribe on YouTube for me. Got to try to get to 50 followers. And just have fun. That's all I'm doing. I'm having fun, basically. I'm not. Just, just something to creatively do, and yeah, it's a hobby. That's all I can say. It's a good, fun hobby. But all right, Twitch, I'm heading out. I'll see you guys next Saturday. I know I'm past my time a little bit. If you guys want to see me next Saturday, I'm gonna be streaming between five to eight p.m. as always. If I stream at eight p.m., that's that's a late night stream. I try to stream between at least five to eight because it's that. Is that right time slot for me, at least? It's not too late, but it's not too early, so. But. Alright, guys. See you next Saturday. Have a good one.